event. Today we have a panel on your options post-graduation, where we will be covering three major domains post-graduation, namely high, higher studies, jobs after engineering, and entrepreneurship. On the panel, we have some of the most experienced and esteemed personalities from the industry, whom we also proudly address as a bright alumni of SPIT. So without any further ado, let me introduce you all to the panelists for today. Uh, so we have uh, Mr. Parth Thosani, who will be addressing the domain of higher studies. We have Mr. Aditya Sheswal, who will be addressing the domain of job after engineering, and Mr. Adarsh Chogani, who will be giving us insights regarding the domain of entrepreneurship. Now, Mr. Pat Tosani uh, has completed his master's in computer science from North Carolina State University, and he completed his B.Tech from Sadar Patel Institute of Technology. And Pat is highly inclined towards trending technology. Next on the panel, we have Mr. Adarsh Chogani, who is the founder and CEO of AssureKit with a demonstrated history of working in building and scaling businesses. Next, we have Mr. Aditya Sheswal, who is currently working as a risk analyst at KPMG, a research intern at Sardar Patel, oh, sorry, yeah, SP Jain Institute of Management. Well, now uh, I would like to hand it over to my teammate Anushka, Um, yeah, so thank you, Rishali, for such a lovely uh, intro for our panelists. Um, I would ask all the attendees to start dropping in their questions uh, regarding uh, jobs after engineering, entrepreneurship, and higher studies. Hello everyone, my name is Parth Tosani and I'm currently pursuing a master's in computer science from North Carolina State University. Uh, I was part of SPID from 2017-2021 and uh, I'm currently doing computer science as my major and I've just completed my uh, semester, first semester as a part of NC State and thank you uh, team ESL and KK sir for giving me this opportunity to share my valuable insights to all the students out here. Hey guys, so I'll, just, I'll just quickly jump in. But then you call Ajayga. But effectively, uh, uh, my name's effectively been given. My name's Adarish. I was a part of SPIT in 2016. Yeah, uh, if feel free to feel free to ask questions on entrepreneurship, right? Like my EXTC ke batch mein tha, bada chill atmosphere hai hamare pe. At the same time, uh, I have folks with my batchmates who are now working with me. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, apart from that, quick request, right? Uh, I like to, I like things to be a little more interactive because we will talk about both Parth, me and anyone else, right? For that matter, uh, would request uh, you all to keep it very interactive because uh, uh, for me at least, been there, done that wala structure ho gaya hai. Parth ke liye again, been there, done, done that wala structure ho gaya hai. For you all effectively, it's very important to understand what you want to do, right? Especially in the post-COVID world. So that's how I effectively put it because uh, Opportunities are immense, uh, and it's the time to ask questions, right? If you all are not already asking questions, also quick request, uh, uh, please, please, please start your videos. Uh, if you do want to ask uh, sort of questions, it's a lot more interactive then. Hum bhi naado ke bate hain. I'm assuming thode baat aap log mein se bhi naado ke bate honge, so should be effective. Anushka, who's the third guy? Um, he'll be joining in shortly. Oh, he's cool. at the stage while well. he's going to represent jobs. Oh, yeah, cool. Sir. So, uh, if you want, I just uh, give a brief introduction about what the experience and why you should target masters after computer science uh, after your graduation, and so respectively, others you can take over uh, after that. Yeah, sure. We'd highly appreciate that. Yeah. So. Uh, as we all know, like I'm assuming like all of the students here might be from first, second, third year who are targeting for masters after graduation or just after uh, an experience of one or two years job. 
so i personally did just after this this year 2021 i just graduated so i'm i can see uh, from that perspective and not after the jobs perspective but yeah i would like to say that like there are various uh, parameters that you need to consider before joining a masters program you should be thorough on why you should want to do a masters program and which field you are interested in there, there might be a case that you switch over your uh, field from excc to let's say computer science or data science or let's so so uh, you should have a strong point on why do you want to change and you know you should be appealing to the committee too and uh, apart from that you can even also do in uh, higher studies in the same course uh, let's say so uh, this is a main important factor and the first important factor you would consider is choosing which country you would like to target and which course you would like to do because uh, that is the most important thing because that's an investment for two years or uh, uh, let's say whatever for how many years you are doing the masters uh, that's the main criteria you need to take in and before that uh, uh, students should know like what all starting an application because uh, if you are if you want to just pursue your master just after your graduation so you need to prepare a uh, one year prior to uh, the actual start date so because uh, application start one year prior and you need to get your all applications resume sop lot lots done by one year prior to the start date so uh, usually there are two seasons that uh, students go that's the fall season and the spring season the fall season starts from august onwards as the major chunk that when students come in after graduation or it's of the job another is the spring one that starts from january so majorly students uh, we have seen is targets targets the fall uh, season starting from august and this is because there are tons of opportunities after two years when you graduate in may and uh, you get a, a year you need to study a year and you get an internship opportunity after your year and uh, after that post uh, opportunity you get a similar like what we have internship and ppo similarly uh, if your work is good you will get a ppo and you will uh, go for a full time job uh, at that respective company and uh, yeah a spring a spring semester is a similar kind of thing just is the intake is uh, shorter uh, people don't really go not many universities take uh, students in spring semester and you have an opportunity after 1.5 years that is uh, experience or uh, internships after 1.5 years and after that you can have the job so in my perspective as a fall student i believe going uh, for a fall would be a better option and uh, apart from that what all requirements uh, are needed for uh, having a, an application to a university first of all uh, if you are just want to pursue after your bachelor's you should have 3 three, year, three years of uh, 3 years of transcripts that we get from the college spd college and apart from that the main two important exams that everybody talks about is the gre and the toefl and apart from that you need a resume and uh, a thing i would like to advise is uh, start looking for internships if you are already in the first and the second year because internships highly uh, help students getting a good admit and uh that that's uh, i believe it is an important thing connect people on linkedin connect uh, the seniors who are from spit or any other colleges uh, who are studying in the, your dream university uh, they would be ready to help and they would be there all the time if you want any help regarding the university and information regarding it uh and as as i said about the exams the gre and the toefl gre is basically a 340 mark te- test uh, which includes english maths and the basic writing test and the toefl includes similarly reading writing uh, listening speaking exams uh, i believe preparations of uh, both the exams should be done like around uh, between the uh, most ideal time is between third and the fourth year so people do start uh, in the third year end or probably in the break of the third year and the fourth end fourth year and i believe you you should have a gap of 2 to 3 months to prepare yourself thoroughly to Uh, get the grip of the uh, uh, exam and you should be fine with it and other application parameters i would like to uh, check is the location wh- which location you want to target like let's say if you are in computer science the west or the east coast would be a better one but uh, if you are someone from mba or something like that so uh, a middle part of the america would be a better option so uh, a location the money the locality 
the weather that everything uh, counts in the factor you need to choose which is more important to you and what is uh, suiting according to your needs so uh, and overall rankings is a important thing because we are going to study for two years which is which matters at this universities yeah so i'll mm, stake on later on but others you can just give a quick intro about yourself then we can have a discussion later on cool uh, so yaar uh, i effectively won't pitch for entrepreneurship right like i don't think uh, everyone should go out and look at becoming an entrepreneur but what an so rather i would take one step back and understand or tell you what it means to be an entrepreneur right an entrepreneur by definition is simply a self starter that's about it there's nothing else there's a lot of jazz word around company kholni hai entrepreneurship karna hai it's not true uh it's effectively your ability to take risks right so and to see it through and get to an outcome that's basically what i call entrepreneurship right having said that just before i get into what is the right career opportunity i would just like to sort of tell you all identify your underlying motivation i think that's fairly important right do you want to study more do you want to get an experience and if, or effectively do you want to be a self starter now there are multiple layers or levels to this particular question and it depends on a lot of things i'll give you an example right one of the folks that is there uh in was there in my batch was not from a well off family right but he still wanted to study outside and then effectively took that financial burden on, on himself and is now doing well similarly i have folks who treat master as a paid vacation as well right so there are multiple sort of levers to it at the same time jobs as well uh don't do something for the heck of it i know people who are struggling immensely who are from let's say an electronics or extc badge and are very mediocre coders and they've all jumped into coding right so doesn't really work uh at the same time people who've done really well in the startup industry right like a couple of my folks or my friends are now a part of unicorns right and they 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 leading similar sort of good designations on top so it's a balance and a mix so what i would recommend everyone uh is to look at what you want to do and having said that identify and approach the right set of people now often or not what happens is that uh, we think that humko nahi pata which is completely fine right so get okay with the concept of not knowing that is a part one b effectively a very effective tool that i realized early on was the method of elimination you can even start with deciding what you don't want to do and eventually land up on what you want to do uh i will talk about my sector my challenges so let me give you an overview about what we are doing and doing at a short kit and happy to answer any questions then uh but apart from that uh, just underlying principle uh look at what you want to do look at the top 5 options of what you want to do and us is not the only market right uh there are multiple markets globally where you can effectively go because education for me is you you invest in yourself both time and money to get an eventual roi return on investment so a senior consultant at bcg right i was just having a chat with him the other day uh, and for for my brother right effectively he is now wanting to pursue an mba the first thing that he said is don't go at the us market right it's it's, it's effectively if you want to do an mba look at what you want to specialize in and then eventually go to that particular region so let me give you a thesis the way bcg hires boston consulting group hires is that let's say you go to australia there are top 5 colleges in australia they will go to australia and pick the students from the top 5 colleges there and then then they will deploy them in the australian market and they will pay them handsomely well right so it's not just one or two markets where effectively education is the best globally including india it's coming up and it's coming on par but what is important is go to the right place that's about it uh having said that what ashorki it, it does in a nutshell so we are a deep infrastructure company working in the insurance domain two parts to what we do we are creating or we are wanting to create a visa equivalent network for insurance which is connecting everyone on a single unified platform so we call it the unified insurance exchange we are already working with 10 plus insurance companies distributors of all scales and sizes alike right so that is one part of the discussion what we intend to do or how we intend to work with our customers is we give them a payment gateway equivalent for insurance so the way you go on to any app and you we have simplified payments to such a great extent that hum pay now karenge and the entire journey starts uh, is the same for insurance right be it bundled products like uh, when you go and go into an ola app you to a trip from a location to b location your your ride is insured right similarly all the other platforms that are there to you buying typical insurances 
uh, online, offline, your parents, business, companies, everyone effectively gives you insurance. Right? So that's what we're doing in a nutshell. So what we're doing is building the unified insurance exchange where a VC-backed company uh, got funded a couple of a year and a half back top VCs. Uh, but effectively really so we have Mayfield and K Capital and we're raising another round, right? So team of 30 plus people already working. Uh, happy to answer any questions about the company at any point in time. But rule of thumb for the next 10 years is customer behavior is changing because of a lot of things, right? And there are opportunities in every field. Uh, be it education, be it, let's say, uh, be it technology, be it consumer goods. Effectively, every industry is going through its grind, right? So biggest challenge in the industry as of now, because I see a question that is there, right? Uh, is uh, there are two things. Uh, there is there is, a, there is a typical debate that goes on in the tech world at all given points in time, right? Technology is an enabler and technology is a driver. What it effectively means is that... Uh, I use technology to smoothen my processes and effectively reach to all the customer touch points versus technology is my business, right? And I drive my business or other businesses through, through technology. So I think it's a debate, it's an ongoing debate. Uh, and every industry is going through its own grind, right? Be it pharma to logistics to effectively food technology to HR to AI to even uh, for the IT com student guys that are there over here, uh, core cloud computing technologies, right? So I had the opportunity to talk to Girish uh, from Freshworks a couple of weeks back, right? And he was effectively talking about uh, uh, how uh, they've started a fund called as Together Fund and a couple of folks there. They're investing in deep tech technologies, right? Uh, so a lot of action in the market, uh, a lot of opportunities. So be sure to also look at those apart from the ones that typically come. Yeah. Anushka, over to you. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Adarsh, for such insight insightful information. Uh, now I would like Aditya to uh, introduce him, uh, introduce himself and talk something about jobs after engineering. Oh uh, yeah. Hello, everyone. I am Aditya. So um, I passed Aditya, out in. Yeah. Um, sorry to cut you in, but if you don't mind, could you please turn your camera on? Actually, there are reasons that's why I'm not telling you. Anushka, you're saying that you're your camera. So... <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, okay, no problem. Aditya, you can continue. Uh, yeah. So, my name is Aditya. I passed out uh, from electronics in the batch of 2020. And currently, I'm working with KPMG. Uh, so, there was a six months internship and then pre-placement offer. So, it has been, I guess, over 1.5 years working in that. Talking about jobs, so being from an electronic background, so SKID, you know, do not receive any like large amount of electronic core uh, placement offers. Like there are very few, like only LNT core and you know LTTS, I guess, offers the core. So I was, you know, so I had in mind that I had to get into a branded company like you know, Deloitte, JP Morgan, or the KPMG. So I was very, I had narrowed it down. So working in KPMG, what can I say? So it, I have been working in risk consulting. So they came, they came from I, uh, for IT advisory, which was a good thing because uh, in the batch of 2019 they came for I guess uh, the government risk and that is not what I was looking for so I was lucky to be placed in the IT advisory field uh, I guess you can ask me questions you know that can be better way to uh, like I would like to come um, alright so um, Anushka uh, Thanks all these speakers for your uh, introduction. Uh, now, yesterday, so we uh, conducted a QA session on our social media pages and uh, we have some questions with us. So I would like each one of you to uh, shed some light on this. So like, uh, so right now, like what is the skill set that uh, us like, you know, this generation must be equipped with to excel in their career? Uh, I would like part to start. Yeah, uh, so not just 
focusing on any field you are going or, or rather be masters or any joining any company the main goal i would believe is having a motivation and dedication towards your work because uh, having any particular job also is not easy at task and you need motivation and dedication to ha- to be in place and uh, be an excel in uh, excel in it so i believe as as a perspective of master students you need to be thorough because it's a bigger step uh, you are not uh, at your home you are away from your home country and you need to stay alone as we are not accustomed as an in, as indian students some might be some might not be so it's a you change and what needs is sheer dedication and you need to be sure about what you are doing in life and uh, apart from that uh, just get guidance from people who have already done or have already been there so because that motivates you uh, just by talking with someone else and uh, knowing about their experience it might help you so you might not uh, get distracted from your path so yeah i believe so uh, you need to be f- most mostly be focused and dedicated towards what you are doing um all right so uh, now i'd like adarsh to continue with this um you're on mute actually you are mute sorry yeah uh, so i'll go a little bit away from what par said right i effectively i'm of the school of thought that it's okay if you don't know right i i come from there so i'll answer this question in two parts so uh, what is your immediate skill set that you require uh, since most of you all are going to effectively sit for placements and 90% of the companies that come are tech driven companies or companies which require you to code uh, we'll talk about that and the second bit is what is the long term or the long tail of what you require right from a general perspective since part part touched upon uh, motivation and knowing what you want i partly agree where uh, underlying motivation should always be intact right uh, what is it that you want to do and it can be multiple things uh, it can be simply surely that i want to learn more now that's a very good motivation to have when you're going for masters right to the point i want to become a brand the easiest way to do it is go and get associated to a brand and then effectively become a brand it can simply be i want to earn money or it can be i want to settle down along with a host of other things that are there so knowing your underlying motivation always 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 helps right it gives you the fuel that is required for you to get anywhere right so that is that is part one uh also the thing that i value the most uh, in terms of young uh, sort of people uh, right like people who are in the 20s 22s 23 24 25 whatever the 20 25 range that is there is people are not accustomed to failure and that's a larger problem right when i interview people i see people get disappointed so much when when they hear a no right there is there are tons of no's that are there in the market right so what you need to do early on is be okay to fail right and but at the same time pick up from your failures learn from your failures and go to the next step now motivation will help you do that right get up get get going try learn and then get, take it forward but effectively it's very important to be humble in the way you're going to go because different companies will treat you different ways right uh, the big four treat you in a very different way uh, the the top 3 treat you in a very different way that are effectively there mckinsey uh, mckinsey bain bcg all the ones that on the consulting side on the tech side the pay masters treat you very differently right for example jp morgan was one name that came up right jp morgan i have known my batchmates to slog from 9 to 9 to 11 9 to 12 in the night right and now that's not a life that i would want but that's a life they're okay with right and filled with tons of failures so be okay with that uh having said that this actually forms the premise of what you what is your immediate skill set right as employers or uh, i can talk both from the perspective of someone who hires people as well as if you want to try things out uh what is really important is is one very very ba- very basic premise you need to be employable right that's about it or you need to be become employable in the company's free way that is there to you typically called as probation period right 3 months 6 months that's the time company effectively is willing to invest in you for you to become employable now the answer is very simple you need to look at what companies you want to go you need to know the kind of jobs that they are effectively doing and you need to work towards trying a lot of things learning if you are in the coding hemisphere to code a lot to understand to fail to try different things out even if you fail right the moment you step into an interview tell them boss this is what i've tried 
irrespective of whether it's worked or not worked you've tried is all that matters right and then effectively take it up from there so hardcore focus on the eventual goal the eventual job work towards it and then take it up and don't let me put it this way right don't be afraid to experiment right let's say that you're a java student you want to try python by all means go ahead right there are multiple no code frameworks that are coming up let's say if you want to try flutter react uh, react native try all of these things out which will help you to then eventually get options or open up your options for for employment the same goes with masters uh, if you don't have a steady ready set structure give everything right like give gre give gmat till you are sure about okay this is what i want to do right and even if let's say your attempt one year one did not go through work and after that go right is the same structure all it needs is you to get time out from your structure and then effectively work towards what you want right your immediate goal so the way i break it down is two parts right i have my long tail vision this is what i want to do right so a short kids vision effectively i don't know if it'll come through or not but our core vision is we want to become a unicorn in the next 5 years right unicorn which adds value not not difficult extremely doable but that does not mean that that is my overarching structure i we set very small milestones this is what we need to do today this is what we need to do 3 months from down this is what we need to do one year from down right and we try and attain those smaller milestones in a way in which it both does two things gives us gratification where we are happy and helps us assess what went wrong so yeah uh happy to answer any questions i know i'm asking this again and again but please 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 do ask questions Um, thank you adarsh um, okay, i sorry. i would like to add on adarsh's point sorry to interrupt you but uh, as you said about the immediate goal yeah i believe so and as, as a perspective of a master students like uh, you guys are in the first and second or third year so probably you might have more time to prepare uh, for uh, in your skill sets regarding by coding or uh, be a tech or a core subject you you should be uh, taking professional certifications courses uh, let me tell you like it it really helps in a pro- profile it adds up value to what other because there are similar people coming from all good universities let's say iit or vit and they are uh, competing for the same seat as you have so uh, you you should be open to learn more things so that would add value to your profile overall because it's not just based on the marks even, even if you get 3 330 on 340 on gi it does not secure a seat or at stanford or a, any top college so uh, uh, being an overall not just an education but uh, doing other additional activities or, uh, apart from that being sports or uh, playing music or anything else uh, will groom you overall as a personality and individual too yeah okay so i'd like aditya to share his views on this yeah so sure. i just wanted to like pause for a second um yeah actually i can't hear you properly there seems to be a disturbance hello yeah yeah ask Uh, whether all are from second. Um, can't hear you. Could you? I guess he's asking all are from second. Yeah, second years and third years. Okay. Yeah. So I will be very clear. Uh, from the job perspective, I guess most of on are all from IT and CS, and there are electronics students as well. um there are electronic students electronics and electronics and telecommunication yeah so not all will be going for the coding jobs i guess so the main the first skill set you would need is obviously aptitude test because you know i have seen guys struggle in the aptitude test as well like they are not clear in the aptitude test and you know you know just uh have that practice of doing the maths you know because we have done applied maths which is not at all useful in the mm-hmm. aptitude test so yeah just have a you know get polished with the old old algebra geometry and all and also the english so that will help actually help you know because i have seen like uh, there are great companies like gp so gp had a uh, great aptitude test like it was like, compared to you know even some questions for like cat level and like many of them couldn't clear so i i think students should not you know like there is company and 
then they are getting filter in the first round itself in the aptitude itself so that's not great thing. like quantify when gpr like one of the companies which really gives good packages and you know the job is also not that so you can get fast through that and the second uh, the really important you know is learning excel i'm not kidding every industry needs excel so i guess you can do like as part said it is very correct like i have also aligned my you know resume like i wanted to do marketing jobs so i have aligned uh the marketing courses like i have done courses from coursera and other things so uh they really see you know when you sit for the interview they see whether you have done courses like, and i am not jumping from like finance marketing so i am very focused on marketing so i only do marketing courses and not jump like i am doing python also i, I want to do data structures so they, they are going to ask you questions based on your experience you should be prepared very well in what you have in your resume so do courses according to that and you yeah, have a goal like what you actually want to do you want to do non tech job then uske baad kya hone wala hai if a coding job then uske baad kya hai next okay then yeah align your cv according to that but i'll tell please learn excel that is going to help you a lot and that's the best so these are very narrow like not you know long term visions but you can do that for two years that will be good um all right um that was great so now moving on to the next question what is the most appealing aspect of your respective domains right so and at the same time what are the least appealing aspects um i'd like part to start yeah yeah uh, most appealing i would say is uh, like i am interested in the field of computer science so i i wanted to do more as we are not accustomed to all the languages or all the uh, subjects as we have in our curriculum but your as an uh, foreign or an abroad universities they get, they give they give more importance to what courses you want and you want to select rather than just having just some set of courses so uh, the most interesting thing was uh, getting the courses you like and the focus or dedication to a particular domain you want and uh, that is why i believe you should be pursuing masters and the long term goal as others also said that um having money or uh, if you are interested in research or phd then masters and after masters phd also is a good option and apart from that uh, the least i would say is uh, you need to struggle a lot uh, going through all the things because it's a one year process and not just the process after that but just coming after year moving away from your family and getting accustomed to all the competition because you would see i would honestly say as you see in a company perspective uh, when you sit for a company there's a rat race similarly is a rat race among all the students from all the universities it's because we don't have a kind of that placements over in our colleges and campus so all the students are equally important for the companies so let's say amazon would not hire specifically for uh, let's say uh, nc state university but they would target every university so the uh, university name might not be a bigger one but uh, the students still might bag that job so it's equally important to consider all the aspects that you are not the uh, only one or your batchmate is not the only one who is in competition but a bigger picture uh, is the you, you need to face it all all right so adarsh could you share your views on this yeah uh, i'm very conflicted because i'm yet to find out what is the best thing of what i do right uh, but having said that uh, uh, like it helps me sleep well at night right so knowing the fact that i create value or am creating value across my industry or the concept of creating something new helps me sleep well at night and that's my only sort of goal right like i have a very simple principle i work to live and i do all the things that are required for me to live right so uh, is this the means to an end for me so my work or things that i'm doing is just a means to an end but from a very fancy perspective to all your people to what i'm doing uh, is as simple as that boss i meet tons of people right tons of people in the way in which both uh, 
very senior investors very senior veterans so just the other day we were talking i was talking to the board of icici bank right like how many people get to do that 26 27 or 28 years old uh, talk to the icici board member and he's talking with you at parity right the same structure spoken to rajan anandan uh, a ton of folks across the industry and get their insights or pick their brains on doing what i am a doing the overall market trend and effectively knowing the knowing the other opportunities that existed and the highlight of the cherry on the cake is sheer networking so the amount of founders that i have spoken to right pure iit non iit uh, people creating value across industries it's immense right uh, so effectively the curve or the exposure is almost immediate a lot of a lot of times uh, uh this is what you do in an mba course right you try and understand it's the other way around for us we've been pushed into this or rather we've chosen to walk into this and then effectively we are getting that first hand exposure so a lot of those things uh the negatives are uh, it's the same thing right when i sleep well at night i'm also stressed right? because i have 20 30 40 50 people to take care of and as in as in when your company scales up that becomes a fairly large problem also right so it's not just the 50 people it's 15 into 4 and or 15 into 6 7 8 uh, their family members also and the people that are dependent eventually on them also so it's a lot of responsibility having said that not everyone's graph will be similar to mine entrepreneurship is a very 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 different world uh, what you can expect uh, of brother being in the entrepreneurial world right uh, is a lot of exposure uh, across structures access to a lot of people and talent and minds that are 10x faster than you uh, or effectively have learned 10x more things or failed 10x more times the flip also is that you get or rather you're shown your place right because if you're not good no one has the liberty of time right everyone's trying to prove get to those set milestones so they will tell you that you're not good no one will dilly dally words right people are very upfront people are very cutthroat so there are both good good and bad sides of the industry so yeah um that's great uh, aditya could you please share your views on this yeah uh, so i guess anushka this question is very subjective you know because i come from a consulting background and there are many folks from you know, like coding jobs so they will have a different perspective i'll share mine so in consulting i'm working in audit you know so in audit the great thing is we have clients like we have banks we have pharmaceuticals then any like mahindra mahindra ho gaya the bank of baroda ya fir jo bhi matlab top top level ki jo companies hai so in audit you are actually analyzing the system like i am in it audit so i'll you know pehle walk through hota hai so we get a um, meeting with the board member so jo bhi hai it manager ho gaya fir jo bhi and one more thing is uh aap directly you are in contact with the cfo or that kind of level like if i'm an, i'm an analyst but i'm talking with the cfo of the company and then he's you know sharing me details about you know please assist uh kpm jo audit team should do this this because you know audit is such a duty ko report bahar jata hai and if it is a listed company sebi mein to fir wo sebi ko jayega report audit ka so they are very respectful and that is great and the other thing is like for example any bank so let's say icic so uh, if icic is the client i get to you know, analyze and see through the backbone of the company like how how actually the company is working in the back end so i don't think engineers jo bhi front end pe kaam kar rahe hain ya fir jo bhi back end engineer bhi hai they get to know what exactly is being process in the financial sector or you know in the background like in ka it system kaisa hai pura what is the flow what is the like like i can know who has done financial changes that's why this audit report is very confidential you know i cannot like i cannot even tell like are you chalo invest in icsa bank because i know that share stock is going to go high because i have gone through the financial statements of that company and i know that kind of you know i have that kind of knowledge of that company so in depth knowledge of that company in organization so you, you are i was exposed to many companies from various sectors like oil ho gaya fir pharma ho gaya i worked mostly on pharma and banks but yeah 
like you get your new project every year like every three or six months depends on the project length but this is the nice part and the disadvantage is i would say is thank you sir iska bhi job ho matlab not even me uh, a backend engineer jp morgan you know business analyst at quantify with i am my friends and my seniors so एक पॉइंट के बाद मोनोटोनस हो जाता है मतलब यू आर सेटिंग ऑन द लैपटॉप एंड यू आर आस्किंग योरसेल्फ फॉर एन मतलब ये करना है क्या तेरे को ऐसा दो साल और मतलब यू आर लिटरली ऑन द एट लाइक आई वाज सो क्वेश्चन माय सेल्फ कि अरे यू आर इंजीनियर क्या ऑडिट करते बैठा तो यू नो इट इज नॉट सम लाइक मोस्ट ऑफ द इंजीनियर्स वुड नॉट वांट दिस जॉब बिकॉज़ यू नो इट इज वेरी लाइक मोनोटोनस ही है there are obviously advantages like as said but you know you are sitting <clears throat> on the excel sheet and or doing all that stuff or maybe even backing engineer thing i don't think that they have a particular structured way of doing their coding job and i don't think like entrepreneurship is all like that because you get to you know do what like, creative things are there like you create things but in jobs i don't think you create things you are just told to do this this so in lok ka task hai jp morgan bole ga we are coding on this application please you know do that so ek point ke baad wo monotonous hone hi wala and i'll tell you most majority of the people doing job even ask your parents they would be like ha to tak abhi ho gaya matlab so like i know i have gone through that it is fine matlab iske through jana just have a focus on what you have to do in the next year so masters so i guess karna hi chahiye matlab i am going to do mba because i think i have you know found what i love that is marketing <clears throat> so i have in mind like align my uh, you know resume even i am from consulting firm i have aligned my cv according to the marketing executive you know kyunki aage ja ke एम बी ए के इंटरव्यू में ऐसा नहीं पूछना चाहिए कि अरे तू कंसल्टिंग बैकग्राउंड से बाई अपलाइंग फॉर द मार्केटिंग सो आई हैव अ स्ट्रॉन्ग स्टोरी टू टेल बाई मार्केटिंग सो एवरी वन शुड आर दैट एंड आई गेस आई हैव आंसर्ड बोथ ऑफ द क्वेश्चन अनुष्का लेट मी ऑफ जंप इन ओवर यूर वन क्विक सॉर्ट ऑफ सजेशन एंड दिस इज प्योरली बिकॉज आई हैव अ कपल ऑफ यूर्स मूव ओवर पार दैन आदित्य राइट सो नो डिस रिस्पेक्ट टू आई दर ऑल बट the very basic premise of uh, uh, let me put it this way right uh, i don't agree with some mindsets which is you should do a masters right that's not something that i agree with uh, it's effectively more of a choice do you want to do a masters mba uh, the most coveted sort of a structure right is the most effective way of switching your careers or rather switching your domain from a to b like aditya earlier really said right uh, i'm into consulting i'm into audit consulting and then effectively i want to jump jump into marketing what is the quickest way to go there or get there at a good company while getting paid well is doing an mba so that sort of works well but one thing that is really important is storytelling having said that the flip also is really true right every job is monotonous every job is a struggle life is a struggle like that's effectively where it starts from right like path said that you have to go from a country to b country it's also true when you have to go from a city to b city to work right so it's not really going to change as well you have to live alone you have to get okay with the concept of living alone that is part one uh, part two of the entire structure is uh, things will get monotonous right but that's not your eventual goal things will get monotonous for the 7 8 hours that are there right but effectively the remaining 16 hours are with you to do what you want so working in a monotonous fashion or working Uh, monotonous people are the most efficient people right like there is a there is a teller at the bank he's the most efficient at what he does right his speed is extremely immense similarly a coder right uh, even in entrepreneurship it's a misconception that effectively the world is very rosy we get to create a lot of things i am we let me put it this way i am an entrepreneur we are working towards creating something but my folks are still told what to do right and it's not just entrepreneur working on his own i have a i have a couple of people who are from i am i have a couple of people who are from outside who studied outside and who've come back uh, similarly people who are engineers right everyone's working towards something so everyone's told what to do you just get efficient over time and you either like you like what you do or you dislike what you do so which sort of rolls back into what is your underlying motivation right i have folks right now who love to travel 
so they work in the day they travel right over the weekends they are just not to be found over a friday saturday sunday and we understand that right because their underlying motivation is there so just sort of uh, not going here entrepreneurship uh, masters there what is re- really important what what is key is uh, like what both aditya and path said there are highs and lows uh, but what is important is what are you okay with what is the high that you want and versus what is the low that you are okay with to get in that right so it's just a trade off between that so yeah hanushka please go ahead sorry i took your time um no problem uh, actually now i'd like uh, the attendees to ask some questions if you all have any you all can unmute or just type it out in the chat box i prefer listening to people yaar yeah. टाइप मत करो हम हमको मेहनत करनी पड़ेगी हमारा भी संडे है माइट इज वेल जस्ट से इट आउट लाउड सो या आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन सिंस आदित्य ब्रॉट अप द पॉइंट ऑफ जॉब्स गेटिंग मोनोटोनस ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो लाइक आई हैव हर्ड सम पीपल से दैट वन ऑफ द ओनली वेज टू मूव अप क्विकली इज टू कीप जंपिंग कंपनीज और जॉब्स एवरी कपल ऑफ इयर्स सो व्हाट आर योर थॉट्स ऑन दैट हु इज द एड्रेस टू Shali, yeah, put there. I would like to Aditya to answer this question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you are basically telling like switching jobs, right? That is the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I will tell you one thing. It depends on what you have to do in the future, right? For example, MS. So I have uh, you know asked many seniors who are passed out and. You know, batch of 2017 as well. So they have. Oh yeah, yeah. Really sorry to interrupt you, but there yeah. seems to be a lot of disturbance from your side, so we can't hear you clearly. Yeah, actually, going to board driving. Yeah, so I'll tell for MS, for example, if you have the long term goal goal of MS, then please, please, uh, take a job which is relevant. I have told this from my seniors. Like, yep. They have, uh, they have like passed on from UC Berkeley and all. So they have told, if you want to do automation, go get go get a automation job. Don't go in business analytics and then you have to do, you know, why switching from business analytics to automation? Then you have to give a strong reason for that. So please, uh, okay, it's okay if you take placement. Like you get into quantify for example, and then work there for like one one year, and then please try to get a similar lo- role. So that's why I said. So basically, your long term goal should be, you know, noted. Like I want to do MS or MBA or maybe other things like MS in information systems. So do a relevant job for MBA. I would say any job is fine because then. मतलब वो क्वेश्चन तो पूछने तो वाली है मतलब नो डाउट अबाउट इट इंजीनियर्स के तो लगती ही अंदर में तो आई गेस मतलब फॉर एग्जांपल मी सो आई आई हैव कम फ्रॉम कंसल्टिंग बैकग्राउंड बट आई हैव अलाइन्ड माय करियर अकॉर्डिंग टू द मार्केटिंग फील्ड सो ऑल द कोर्सेज आई हैव डन आर यू नो फ्रॉम मार्केटिंग बैकग्राउंड सो आई � For MBA because then they really ask you, मतलब यार are you really focused मतलब आपको क्या करना है मतलब no I've uh, maybe मतलब I had opportunities from Eva and Deloitte but I was not switching because I know the culture is same it they are the big like same मतलब big four है तो वो you know they offer you मतलब they were offering me good package as well but I was thinking यार एक फिर से वो new environment have Been in KPMG for last 1.5 years. I am familiar with the partners as well and the directors as well. I don't need to switch. I am getting promoted uh, in this field, so I I don't think there is a need to switch. Yeah, but if it is a marketing role, like I I had applied for Nike and then other like Mintra or one plus marketing executive. So yeah, that is what I am looking for. So I don't go for like you know. JP Morgan में आ रहे थे तो ऐसे ही इंटर्न कर लो नहीं तो यू नो आई एम नॉट गोइंग फ्रॉम कंसल्टिंग तू जस्ट बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ गुड पैकेज डोंट गो देयर इट रियली नीड्स तू 
वो लाइक जिना अगर एम एस है तो उसके अकॉर्डिंग रेलिवेंट जॉब एम बी है तो उसके अकॉर्डिंग रेलिवेंट जॉब सो आई गेस या Yeah, this actually makes a lot of sense because personally, I look forward to pursuing uh something in the non-tech domain. So yeah, this was really very insightful. Thank yeah. you. This rule of thumb, right, guys? Uh, sorry, I'm interjecting because I've seen this quite a lot. Switching is not good, right? Because we look down upon it on a very severe level when we're hiring. So let me put it this way. it's not the jp morgan and all the all the folks that are there in the world are the pay masters it's us right like startups effectively pay the best uh, in the entire domain why because we are willing to take that risk on that employee let me give you a sort of quick figure right 5 billion dollar deploy hua in indian ecosystem mein ye saal 5 billion dollars that is roughly 35000 crores out of that 4 billion dollars is deployed on human resource which is 28000 crores is deployed on people graduates uh right graduates or effectively job seekers so we are the people who effectively give jobs right right let me give you a very quick figure the average salary in our company is 25 lakhs right at a short it is 25 lakh ka average salary hai uh and that means people who are lower and people who are way on top also but i absolutely look down upon people who switch jobs very frequently for a very simple reason if there is no motivation to switch why are you switching right like what is that reason if you're just going for a price hike again and again again and again brands or companies in today's day and age they only 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 value one thing which is loyalty right uh, i want you to be loyal or you're dispensable you come in that category automatically where growth becomes a problem be it you wanting to do a tech job versus a non tech job i when i started off uh, when i graduated in 2016 uh, uh, I didn't take college placements, right? I got a job from elsewhere. I joined an MNC called as Jardine Lloyd and Thompson. I was in their BD team, that is there, right? So uh, super senior folks who used to cater to CFOs, CXOs. Uh, but uh, that's because I looked elsewhere and got right. So it's not necessary that if you are a tech guy, you will not get a marketing job. If you are a marketing guy, you will not get a tech job. It's effectively where you start. So if you think of it this way, right? I am a tech guy. Now I get paid ten lakhs. i am worth 12 lakhs in marketing that's completely false right so it all depends on where you start how, what you do so vrishali just rule of thumb koi tumko bhi bolega na is switching good switching is never good uh, erratic switching is never good right jumping up again and again people do it uh, but that does not mean that it's very well looked upon in the overall gambit of things so yeah and just to say about not not uh, as per the jobs as a person who is from ehcc or electronics who are inclined towards tech domain and who just want to pursue just after the masters and it's like i i'm known people who 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 are very difficult to uh, who are very find it very difficult to get into a tech course like a cs program or so because they don't have a relevant experience even if you do more of certifications you don't have that core subjects like data structures or algorithms or that in the part of the course so i believe taking a break or uh, having a one or two year experience might help uh, because you might know the com- company culture in better way and uh, uh, you might have a hands on experience in the uh, te- it uh, technology uh, uh, domain because you might not have internships that is purely based on tech if you are from ehcc or electronics if even if you might have you might not know the core subjects or the underlying technologies why they are used so i believe switching in that perspective would be a better uh, better choice if you taking a break of one or two years get uh, knowing the it industry or any other industry you want to switch in then then pursue masters or mba or whatever you would like uh, in the future to pursue um all right so Do we have any other questions, guys? You can unmute. Yeah, chat box. Nahi dal do. Uh, could you just brief about the resources one should prefer for higher studies? Uh, yeah. So there are ton of resources. Like, uh, I have put in. I'll just put it in the chat. The preparation kit you can use. Uh, for both exams. and uh, i have some tips that i could uh, share about resumes and what you should do as a part of resume or sop and lor so as for resume like uh, currently we might have a two page resume or two column uh, resume but 
uh, as for masters or let's say for a job perspective also a uh, strict one page linear format is uh, uh, better and it's what look, uh, companies and uh, co- colleges look up to like you should have a proper I- introduction which you might have a summary of a one line or two liner apart from that you you could have your uh, education as is the first important thing in a dis- decreasing order you could have that and apart from that in any internship experience i would like highly encourage people who are in second and third year to have an internship opportunity yep. so it could add an uh, motive that you, it is because everyone has is studying the same job uh, studying the same course and getting same pointer but what distinguishes between you and your two, uh, teammate or uh, uh, classmate is that what courses or what additional internship that you have pursued so that might be a distinguishing factor apart from that many projects and uh, uh, for uh, this test i would say is gre app put in prepare uh, you can watch youtube videos like uh, greg mat is a better channel which you can uh, p- p- get to know about the verbal a uh, maths and the aws section apart from that you can buy a, a magoosh premium account many people still rely on cou- counseling or classes or cl- coaches but uh, uh, i have done it personally myself you could also do it personally and you could just take a premium account of magoosh and you can just prepare words and uh, prepare for the test and apart from that for toefl uh, i would suggest just get uh, getting uh, knowledge about what uh, the basic information basic knowledge about toefl and how the test is that is all like 10 to 15 day uh, uh, studying is like uh, enough for toefl and apart from that for applications i would say is uh, just talk to more of the seniors because uh, while filling an application you might get stuck at a particular point that you don't know and you might fill up a wrong point so uh, i would suggest knowing people and getting to know what is important the most important thing uh, i would say for an application is knowing the professors of the universities is a better way uh, there is a website called rate my professors uh, you could look up to the professors who are teaching you can know their reviews you can know the ratings about it and what course do they teach so you can structure your uh masters in a particular way that you what courses you want what courses are usually taken in the particular college and why you should target that college apart from that because you are going for education that's the first immediate goal so that is more important and knowing your structure very well because it's up to you you have to choose nobody will uh, give you like you need to choose this five subjects but it's an compulsory it's not a compulsory thing but you need to choose on your own and uh in resume we look at clarity yeah that's true yeah it was so, sir, good afternoon sir just to add on to sakshi's question that uh, what according to you will be the optimum plan for higher studies because i have people advising me saying that uh, just take two years job experience after college be doing btech and then apply then go out for higher studies and like that so what according yeah. to you will be the optimum plan for that uh, so just again it's doing after btech or taking time yeah. yeah again uh, it's very related to people who are uh, who want to do like i am of a person like i didn't want to break my chain of education and i didn't want to have a break in between i need to have a continuous uh, education uh, background uh, as i had just graduated from btech so i would know my concepts better than who who is working for 2 3 years or they need to brush up a more but uh, yeah experience might have a uh, edge over uh, freshers but still it's not like that freshers don't get a job or they can't uh, perform a better way so it's up to it's really up to you what you need to do you could even take two years break uh, in if you get a job or if you target a job which helps in your uh, masters program so as uh, aditya rightly said if you are doing a job in non tech company but if you want to pursue your masters in a tech uh domain so it's not m- much of relevant because uh, colleges also might look up on what two years you have done after your graduation just not uh, doing having a job is not important but what uh, additional uh, extra activities you have done or uh, specific domain you have worked on because universities again have specific tracks of the domains like data science or machine learning or uh, computer vision or so 
so what you have already passed on and you want to do in future as a master student so you need to be thorough on if you are setting for a company you, you need to know like uh, it might boost my uh, application in the future or it's what i want to do which aligns with my masters um i'd like adarsh and aditya to add on like i know the question is directed towards higher studies but what do you all think yeah so i'll tell uh, through i'll go with you know like pursuing after btech because you know you are you are in that flow uh you are you know after job you know then iske baad aisa ho jata hai okay i have to study again and uh let me tell you if you have a good gpa and good accounts please go for ms directly and you don't need a job experience if you are getting a relevant job that is good but if you are not getting a relevant job and plus you have a good gpa like above 8.5 i guess and then uh, also 10 12 accounts plus the gre or ielts score so if it is good like i guess you should go directly that would be better the additional thing that uh, sorry sorry others uh, the additional thing that just uh, what job ads is you have acads that will stay after 2 years too but what job will add is what hands on experience you would have uh, apart from uh, applying to the uh, courses that you have learned in, in actual life and i guess job would also be a major role in deciding your admits or rejects if you have a job fair uh, my my thought is very simple uh, i think let me put it this way right uh, you're just out of college and you're looking at getting or going for higher studies right every in anywhere and everywhere that you go is an investment so think of it this way a minimum of let's say your 30 40 50 lakh to what to wherever it goes to right whatever is the ceiling uh, if you're extremely confident that this is what you want to do maybe just take the plunge and go ahead with it right because you are not it's not deciding mere ko vrindavan jana hai mujhe kidhar aur jana hai right it's effectively deciding where do you want to go to study so it effectively creates a lot of financial burden also what job gives you i think is clarity of thought or reinforcement uh ki this is what i want to do or this is what i want to continue my sort of studies in or you've taken that plunge saying that boss this is not something that i absolutely want to do and try something else out so a uh, fairly subjective uh, if you have clarity of thought if you have the means uh, simply go ahead a lot of times you have clarity of thought and no means right so this will help you or uh, or or a job profile will effectively help you at the same time uh, it adds uh, into your uh, this uh, it adds into your overall curriculum like uh, it helps to get you that exposure um, and you are better employable like always the first one and a half two years just go into learning what work is right what are the different things that you do and everything like that so yeah that's my honest two cents so oh, thank you sir it pretty much answers my question thanks um are there any more questions okay uh yeah nikita go on oh uh, hi hope i'm audible Uh, yes, you are. Okay. Uh, first, it was a great session. I wanted to ask. It's an open uh, question for all. What has helped you to get where you are exactly, like in the forefront? And if you had to give one advice to us, what would that be for the others who want to set off in the similar direction? Anyone can take it, or should I go, guys? you can take you can fair uh, here for me it is uh, been uh, so i have personally always wanted to add value or create value and that was the underlying motivation for me um, yeah i have done the same route right when i was in college i have given gmat i have given gr and i have scored well uh, like i have scored a 740 plus on gmat again the same structure for gr but i have always decided to not go in that direction because it just does not work for me right so what worked for me is uh me like what helped me sort of do this what i'm doing is a exposure i spoke to a lot of people ton of people understood what i want to do and b effectively uh went to the right people to get the right advice to then start i have a very simple saying or something that my mother my parents have told me right uh, learn from other people's mistake your mistakes can tend to become expensive right both in time money everything 
everything that is there so for me what simply worked out post college almost half a decade back was uh, just knowing that this is what i want to eventually want to do and then everything that i've done gets gets me to here so uh, be it the job offer that i've said no to the jobs that i've taken the jobs i've resigned from uh, the companies that i've started uh, this ashorkit by the way is my second company i got an exit from my first company right uh, then to this right now uh to then now i don't know where i'll go right like so but I, all i know is i want to do this i want to continue doing this and i want to be the kind of a guy who creates jobs so that's my sort of motivation but yeah yeah so um, my view on is like uh, you need to uh, network as others also said you need to network more with people like if you are in the second year and if you are unsure on what to do you you might just set up any or college like let's say only spid and people uh, linking on linkedin you might get all, all the information you would need in any domain or any college or any company as such so you might know what you should do and what work actually they are doing like if they are working as a java developer you might know what actually goes into a java developer because working all on, on a project as a java or just as a java it's not sufficient but uh, knowing what actually company does as a java program is more important to know so uh, uh, the seniors might help in a better way uh, knowing more people talking to about the opportunities what we have uh, mm-hmm. uh, again for masters you you might talk to more people and uh, more comp- more uh, the this college might you more students from college you might know more better you might have a clarity of vision on what uh, colleges i want to apply and or what colleges i don't want to apply uh, just filtering before colleges you you might understand about what goal what courses you want to do like on just people are doing computer science or uh, mis is not sufficient you need to know for yourself what course you are uh, interested in what you have done in past and what might uh, motivate you to do the next uh, course so i i believe talking and, and uh, knowing views of people if you if you even write your sop or lr you can just uh, ask them to review it so they might add more value to it because they have gone through this process of years back or one year back so they might add what would add to your profile so it might not be a reject but it might uh, help you getting the uh, secure and admit Uh, Nikita, I want to repeat the question because I want to be on track. Uh, I want to be on track. So can you please repeat the question? Um, Nikita, uh, actually, you were not audible. Uh, I couldn't understand. Uh, he wants you to repeat your question. Yeah. Uh, my question was that if you had to give one advice to us, like uh, who are aiming for the similar. interest what would that what would that be and like uh, what help you to be uh, in the profession you are in right now like being the forefront or uh, all yeah yes. so part currently said please you know communication is the key i would say because you know like i was not it one of the students like I was very social in the class, you know, like the batchmates. But I was communicating with the seniors. So I knew seniors from 2016 match till like 2017, 18, 19. So you know, and SPIT ka alumni connect is really good. You know, people are uh, have like MS. So guy, so like they are in good universities. Then uske baad uh, entrepreneurs say if you want to connect, then there are job related like. अच्छे हैं सब सो यू नीड टू यू नो जस्ट मैसेज देम अबाउट एनीथिंग सो आई नो कि आई हैव ट्रबल्ड माय सीनियर्स फॉर लाइक रेज्यूमे मतलब आई हैव लाइक क्रिएटेड टेकन लाइक 30 35 रेज्यूमेस फ्रॉम माय सीनियर्स एंड देन यू नो देन मेड माय रेज्यूमे एंड देन आफ्टर लाइक मेरा रेज्यूमे बन गया देन देन आई एम गिविंग देम कि ओके दिस इज माय रेज्यूमे प्लीज रिव्यू इट किधर एंड सो Plus, you know, you need to connect with people because that is the key. You know, because like others also said, you need to have a because what they are actually into. Like, uh, you will get to know after this after speaking to them. So, and 
where I am because like I am seeing so my goal like uh main focus is on entrepreneurship if I be honest but like I have tried some of the like I I had co-founded a company but that was part time in the whole to the but then I thought it was losing sight and we did not have a team proper to execute it so I thought you know. You have to think like you know because see, I mean we are from SPIT and uh, see how much I not getting into IIT is is impacting your life. So I have seen my friends who are from bits belonging or IITs like they are like they, uh, currently they are into uh, uh, this university like University of Pennsylvania, uh, which is you know the top one for uh, machine learning and all. No, sorry, Carnegie Mellon. I... So yeah, uh, so we already have an impact, you know, not getting into IITs. So I guess very near to that was subjective. That's why I'm saying I could not get into bits or IIT. So I really want to do, like I want to get into IIT because you know, uh, the matter is not about the placements. Yeah, obviously it is a better placement. Like obviously the package, even SPJMR. Gives a better package, like right? you earn like twenty twenty two lakhs from the start. Like you have done MBA, you are earning twenty four lakhs. That is great. But you know why people come and uh, come to SPIT? Why people go to IIT? Like why? Because the alumni career of IIT is far more like far out in universities. So they only know okay, uh, he has come from Indian Institute of Technology. Who is a good guy? Then who brand name all tag lag jata. So, so you know. You should have a aim. So, for entrepreneurship, I need a team. So, I need to so, get good peers. So, if I go into I, for example, and also the next thing is I want to do marketing. So that is a that is like a back option. Like if I don't get a good peer, I don't you know uh, get a good idea to you know implement entrepreneurship. I go for the marketing job, which is also good. But you know, at least I'll be in that circle. Like I'm sitting in the top. Top students of India. Then, like, if I'm going to Ahmedabad, like I know these sixty students are like on the top of India, and they are going to succeed in life. And if I have them in my team, that is going to be great. Like, you know, उससे अच्छा कुछ नहीं होगा. And then you have the professors which have so much of experience, and then I am का alumni connect और भी ज़्यादा अच्छा है. So you know, you grow like SPIT का भी है, but VJT का और ज़्यादा अच्छा है, IIT का और ज़्यादा अच्छा है. So you need to be very focused on what you have to do. MS, be it MS. MS may be more than. Uh, I don't think everyone like my seniors have gone into. Like many have gone a uh, very core like computer science, machine learning. But there are many seniors, you know, which who take who have done job in JP Morgan. They have like done that coding job, and then they switch to information systems, which is very popular nowadays. So MS information systems are like that. So after that, so. I don't know if they are very much, you know, focused on that and they what they really want to. But you need to, you know, ask yourself like, okay, can I do this for the next forty years? Like, मुझे ये पसंद आया. So if I ask myself, I cannot do a job like even if if it be marketing, I cannot do job like be it marketing in Apple, but I cannot uh, do a job under someone. Like I don't want to do that. So if I say. I really enjoyed that, you know, six or seven months of entrepreneurship in my like, which I did, and I think if I do that for forty years, I'll be really happy. I'll be, you know, able to sleep really good, because even if I'm working twenty two hours, if you ask Elon Musk, he's going to say yeah, he's, he's not going to say I'm bored or you know he's having a monotonous life because, uh, he's happy doing what he's doing because and then. Uh, today, like I'm giving ten hours to KPMG. I feel like, is it really worth it? I don't think it is worth it. But can't can't do anything because I don't have any option. And job is really important, you know. You have to do something. Like, this is the way it works. So you need to have a focused goal. So and these are the lows. You will get into the highest. Well, go through the lows. You know, aim for what you want. Wait until you get a job. You know, like I think entrepreneurship is glamorized this like, in this generation because 
you know so many unicorns are going public and all you know wo bahut hota hai ki you know he's a entrepreneur he's a ceo and he's earning like but not the i have been there and seen like kitna you know ek point ke baad aisa side lose ho jata hai and then you are the main you are the core co-founder and you have to take the decisions it is very difficult i'm telling you but but if it makes you happy like you know handing people the matching to telling them telling them what uh, they have to do then communicating with the clients which you have that is great i guess so just ask for if what you want to do in the next 40 years and i guess we'll get down i just add to what uh, aditya is saying right nikita uh, and i'll also touch upon something that he said which i uh, agree to disagree with uh, so because a lot of the batchmates that he's talking about are my peers like 2016 2017 mere junior or mere age ya fir mere se ek senior right uh, so let's start with one core structure is spit good enough right uh, the answer is yes right it's not about spit not being good enough spit is actually good enough Uh, it helps you and it has a decent name right compared to an iit right iit is a nationalized institution it has roughly 30 40 or different different states each state having its own iit so there are bound to be more people and you are bound to know more iitians right it's as simple as that so for all the 50 or 100 iitians that go there are another bunch of 150 to 50 iitians that don't go and who struggle right so it's effectively that structure a lot of them are getting kts on kts as well right so is the the answer to your question of is it good to sort of be in a nationalized institution or a brand the answer is yes having said that what par said in the onset right it's it's actually very important to know what you want and then work towards building your profile right so what is important let, let me put it this way if university is a criteria yes university you have a check mark right and aditya said maintaining a good gpa yes it's obviously important if effectively you have a good gpa that's another check mark that is there but it's also important to have that entire other co curricular structure or like i said in the middle right the story concept that is there what is that story that you are giving people and you yourself are believing so don't get bogged down by the fact that you are an spit student it's actually a very good university i am in the world filled with only iit and entrepreneurs but i'm still doing what i'm doing better than a lot of iit and entrepreneurs that are effectively there right so it's not important where you come from uh, it gives you a very good base yes so Uh, it, that was based on all the hard work that you did 10 10 plus 2 years back right now effectively where you want to go will depend on the hard work that you do right now uh, so one thing that uh, both parth and aditya shed light upon was internships extremely important right getting that exposure extremely important getting recommendations from people who are not from let's say just your college extremely important networking to people Uh, i don't know how many of you all have gone to linkedin and checked our profiles or how many of you all have linkedin profiles right just drop in invites over there send in your questions if you don't want to send it on a public forum extremely important right these are things which will get you over the top and these are things that you need to focus on so i have everyone right like when you look at my batch in hindsight right because it's been 6 years since we've graduated so uh, there is everyone people in berkeley carnegie mellon sloan iims to then graduating and effectively working in google facebook two indian startups right bharat pe swiggy phone pe everywhere to to people like us there are a folk there are a bunch of 10 12 entrepreneurs who i know immediately who have very well funded companies and are doing what they are doing right so there is an entire spectrum of people because we are only four five branches strong 80 80 90 people a batch every year roughly 600 people go out right so in 600 people if you look at the ratio of successful people fairly high so from a success metric probability perspective you are there what will now effectively matter is your underlying motivation to where you want to go be go down paths route go down alfia's route go down my route or effectively do a mix and match go down my route to then go into aditya's route or go down aditya's route to then go into paths route does not really matter right these are our sort of paths what will matter is what you want to do and how you want to play it it's your game right so yeah just that if that answers your question nikita yes yes those were uh, really great advices yeah but i just wanted to uh, add on it like as rightly others said uh, you need to know what you are doing and apart from that uh, 
I would say is not just uh, like I am here. I know people are from IIT here or as well. But it it's not just where where you have come from because it's just based on your skill set. Even if I know people who as a fresher who have just bagged internship right now and people who are with five six years. Like, so it it doesn't matter what you're, but what you bring to the table to the company uh, is what more important rather than just you are from IIT and or SPIT or something like that. People here won't even look from where college, which college or university you're studying in. Even if you're studying from NC State or US, it doesn't matter. It's just a namesake kind of a thing, as I believe. And more, yeah, some advantage would be given to obviously the higher uh, Ivy League colleges. But apart from that, they uh, treat every. Everyone equally, and what speaks is your profile and the skills you have. Yeah, to share. Yeah, adding on yeah. to Paul, like, like I wanted to convey is like, okay, like there is some kind of impact which we are facing not being IITs. I guess everyone would agree to that because being there is different. Like you know, being in bits is different. Being in IIT is different. So yeah, we can accept that. Yeah, we are in good college, no doubt about it. In Mumbai, SPIT is one of the best. But like from my perspective, like I don't want to regret. Like in two thousand twenty-two, when I write CAT, I don't want to come out of that examination center and say, "Okay, I I am not going to get that chance." I don't want to regret that. Okay, I'm settling for lo- local college after that because one impact has been made. I don't want to come further. I have to do I am because you know that has a brand name that has a weightage, and after that, if you go to even if I do I am, then uh you know pursue one more degree like PhD or one more MBA like executive MBA from the foreign like that will give more weightage to my CV or versus being in a local college. Obviously, it does not matter where you from come from, but it gives a weightage, no doubt about it, because like we all are consider. In the pool of the University of Mumbai, and then there are bits and IITs, so they only pick up like University of Mumbai ka polo karega, so they pick up from there and then bits and IITs. So yeah, I just want you all not to regret like after two years or anything, you know, just be focused, do what you want, and like study hard for the entrances. I guess that will you no know, give the results. I guess. Yeah, it perfectly answers my question, and it's a relief to know that being a part of SPIT would would be worth it in the end. In a good college, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. no doubt about it. Um, adding on to it, I would like to ask one question: As these colleges are coming with these minors, so oh, if we are opting for a oh, technical domain, is it advisable? Means will be it any add any value? If we uh, do minors from like uh, SPJ, IMR for management, or we should go for uh, CS minors. Yeah, but ah, let me put it this way: time and there is, I mean, to do it. What is going on? It's as simple as that, right? Of course, it will add value. If you know something, it adds value, right? Uh, like it's, it's. There's no question in that. But having said that, uh, if you're just doing it for the heck of it, then probably don't do it. Then double down on what you want to do. So. Let's say if you want to code, or let's say if you want to go into marketing, probably spend time on that. But uh, a business major, uh, or rather a major and a minor, is a very international concept. It works really well across the board because you get two things, right? A primary exposure in your course, in your core skills, and a secondary exposure in the skill set that a either you should have or b it's good to have, right? So either or definitely helps. Uh, if you have time, definitely do it. What is the problem? Uh, so, uh, uh, what you are oh, sorry, you can go. Yeah, so, sorry. So uh, let me tell you, like uh, this concept I've known like from one year, and we didn't have this. So uh, we had this scope uh, culture, and I guess uh, you still might have this scope. So I had taken this SPJ MR management course. So I just wanted to know more what about what can I do if I want to pursue an MBA or not, and if I'm fit to do an MBA or not. So you could take. Chances and you could, if you are interested, a uh, slight also, and you have a doubt like whether I would like or it not. You could take a scope course. There are technical fields, not technical fields, like scope, a uh, management fields, 
and as you have minors apart from what uh, you have as a major so even if you are from ehcc you take computer science or it subjects as minor because i guess no other colleges in mumbai or under mumbai universities have this kind of major and minor uh, uh, additional point so that what uh, spit brings uh, additional to what you are doing yeah it did not that during my time but i definitely see that it has value across the board like bits iits have it so yeah. even mm, the 6 month last 6 month of internship so yeah ah it is good sorry yeah chetan so are you talking about the scope program or you are they have like structured it in a different way like minors because i have done the same scope program like spj amar ka maine bhi kiya hai but it is it is considered just as certification not a minor yeah no in this year they are properly providing like minors degree kar okay. yaar if you have time kar lo like there is no question like it just helps either it will realize something or you don't realize something ghar pe baithe baithe karo ye kya matlab is just as simple as that try it try it out no harm okay thank you thank you so much for the guidance uh, yeah, yeah someone raised their hand Somebody yeah i have a question uh, first of all thank you aditya adarsh and path for a such a wonderful webinar so my question is towards parts domain but even aditya and adarsh can add on to it so uh, i've heard about um, for masters it's usually for people who want to enter the american corporate space uh, so for someone who's looking back to looking to come back to india after working for 5 to 6 years let's say in the in the us is masters really worth it or would job or uh, obviously entrepreneurship be an option for him better option for him i would say yeah again uh, it's not like just people who just come here just stay here or settle here there are people who just work and just get a roi on what loan they have taken and just go back to india and do better in an a startup or let's say at a top the managerial lower at a company so it's not like just having a, a post at a american company is sufficient or having a fancy google microsoft or facebook is sufficient but it's what you want to do and what in uh, what the final goal you might have so there are people who are just crazy for studying who who just do two year course and they just come back to india if you have that kind of uh, financial support and you could afford it so why not because some people might only uh, do research or phd they 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 might stay at because they are it's the phd and the research uh, uh, exposure is more than what we have for masters also so yeah it's subjective as well as people i have known people who have come back also after two or five years so it doesn't matter uh, on where you are working but it's what you want to do and which uh, domain you want to go in yeah i'll just add to that uh, some vague the answer is in your question right when you say that uh, is it worth it to go somewhere work for 5 years and coming back right like tum you are giving yourself a timeline of 5 years if you yourself are giving yourself that timeline it's okay it's worth it like if you go back you learn you come back and then you do what you want over here but what is very important is what will happen in those 5 years you may simply decide to stay there right so the question rather over here is should you go at all if you are going over there then decide what you want to do after you've been there. right don't go with the mindset that i have to come back or go with that mindset that you have to come back knowing what you want to do so i have folks and peers who are family businesses yaar matlab they don't need to work but they want to work let me put it that way right so they've gone studied worked and come back to people who simply come back to people who struggled and come back to people let's say who then uh, gone and and have successful jobs now are married uh, have wonderful wives and are living there right like so it's that horizon that is there so don't take or don't think of main 5 saal ke baad mein wapas aaunga pehle ja to sahi try and get it in the top 5 top 6 top 7 and then decide kar de what do you want to do right having said that whether other things are worth it which is uh, your entrepreneurship or a job job is a choice uh, entrepreneurship is a commitment uh, so it will all depend what you want to do it's you don't overnight become an entrepreneur right? you need to have an idea you need to thrash it out you need to go similar it's the same process even for a job right because you are in a second and third years you need to prepare for an aptitude so either or all three put together you need to give time and the best advice i can give you is take your own decision everything is worth it if you make it worth it it's as simple as that and okay. just adding to it like uh, it might seem like you want to come back or you want to stay here 
it uh, really uh, helps on what your experience is like staying for one two years here you might know better like if this lifestyle is better for me or what i was living two four years in my undergrads better or what i want to do in back in india so i guess uh, that would Uh, clarify your decision and would change your decision to or might stick to same decision to uh, correctly said like path and others and there are many factors you know not only this like you have decided like i don't want to go there but what if you don't get touch on me like i have my senior like yep. uh, who graduated on uc berkeley and he was uh, i guess other should know me uh, so He for he is working in Siemens right now. He got a job of like ninety thousand dollars, and it is his third year. If he doesn't get the H one B, like it is not in his hand to stay in the US. The US yeah. is going to, you know. And then he is working out with Siemens. Like, abhi Siemens, abhi US nahi to kaha. Then he doesn't want to come to India because it will not give a good pay. Like Siemens India won't pay as good as Siemens US. So the they are saying like go to the headquarters, which is in, which is in Germany. so they are in talks like if not h1 b either nahi hota then will push you to siemens germany so it is not basically in your hand but yeah you need to have a mindset like you know i have to go there maybe you know to loan me go uh, you know cross that and then come to india but you need, if you come to india and you are not get, getting paid that much this is for sure then you you know might look for options like you know australia ho gaya or germany You know there are many countries in the US, so it is upon you. As a point of USA, uh, definitely you should consider both the options because we all know how hard is getting an H one B. Or there are people who have not got, but uh, considering other other countries like Australia or Canada, you get an easy PR. So even if you want to stay there or be a citizen there, it's like very easy as compared to USA or any European countries like Netherlands or uh, uh, Netherlands or France or anything. So yeah, as compared to other countries, USA might be a difficult. So you might have a backup backup option in the worst case if you don't get an H one B, you might have to come back to India. But yes, you need to consider both. All right, thank you so much. um i think uh, we should conclude this um so uh to conclude it uh thank you all the speakers for uh, sparing some time and uh, uh being on the panel uh it was actually really great uh, because we got you know through your experience and knowledge we got a 360 view of, from all the perspectives uh, be it from you know uh, a jobs perspective ya fir higher studies or maybe entrepreneurship i'm got majority of my doubts cleared and i i hope all the people who attended this uh, feel the same about it um i'd like rashali to take over and uh, say a few words uh hello uh so one thing that i would like to take back from the session is that there are so many little choices that we make that affect our lives in different ways and they also add great perspective to our life so yeah i learned that we should be very mindful about our choices and uh, again thank you so much for having uh, for sparing your valuable time for us that too on a sunday morning yeah that's it so uh, i will ask everyone to connect uh, people and connect us also and if you have any doubts you just could uh, add up on linkedin and ask any doubts any time we are free to answer your questions yeah one thing that you all should everyone over here or people who've left also should do is uh, very simple so I'll, i'll i'll give you my experience right i was in an spit before it got autonomy right to an spit right now which has autonomy इट्स अ वर्ल्ड ऑफ अ डिफरेंस एंड हमारे टाइम पे मेजर माइनर नहीं था हमारे टाइम पे छह महीने के इंटर्नशिप नहीं थे सो वी इफेक्टिवलीपिकल राउट बट अड ऑफ पीपल स्टिल डूइंग वेल राइट सो हैविंग सेट दैट यू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज एट द सेम टाइम वॉट यू ऑल डोंट हैव इज कनेक्टिविटी राइट टू अ सर्टन एक्सटेंड यू ऑल आर नॉट इन कॉलेज लाइक कैजर सर पुटेड तुमको वृंदावन नहीं पता क्या है मतलब दैट्स अगर प्रॉब्लम राइट 
to the overall gambit of things but uh, uh, having said that uh, just reach out to people i was myself a part of the esl structure back in my days i was chairing the esl structure to the debate society to this right so i have had my multiple sort of jumps and junctures that have been there but the one thing that i will definitely need is don't feel feel free to ask questions no questions are stupid connect to people because even teachers right like let me put it this way hum college walon se zyada baat karte nahi hai but a lot of times we need a reason right like we want to talk but we don't have a valid reason so while we may want to come and meet y'all can be that reason both for the teachers faculties your peers and students so just 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 ask questions connect uh, both aditya and uh, parth have draw, put up their uh, linkedin like in linkedin in the chat box i'll put mine as well but please 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 do connect uh, and please do ask questions happy to answer a lot of people have done that for us uh, for me particularly a lot of people have done that for aditya and parth uh, we hope to return the favor as well right so yeah. do give us that opportunity because we we were on the same situation like maybe 2 3 years back and we also done the attended the same seminars where other seniors might have helped us so getting information from others is, and helping others is like very very valuable thing and thank you esl for uh, hosting and thank you especially kesa sir for uh, organizing this and uh, having us here thank This you quick fun fact uh, ye jo flagship event hai na ye hamare batch ne chalu kiya tha ये जो तुम्हारा अंतरप्रनोरशिप ये वो ये वो वाला डिस्कशन है मी एंड देन अ सीनियर ऑफ आज सो इट्स एक्चुअली अ वेरी गुड यूजफुल इवेंट डू सॉर्ट ऑफ टेक समथिंग बैक फ्रॉम दिस देर इज मेरिट टू इट एंड इफ नथिंग जस्ट लुक एट एज अ कनेक्टिविटी अपॉर्चुनिटी राइट लाइक जस्ट डू दैट सो यार थैंक्स ऑल थैंक यू Thank you, speakers. Thanks a lot. Cheers, guys. Good. We're done, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Cheers, bye. Yeah. Bye.